One Foot Flipper. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. How's everybody been? I've kind of slowed my video release schedule down a little bit because I was putting way too much time into making daily videos and my eBay business was suffering and I'm still trying to repair my eBay business to make it the most smooth possible running thing. So I'm trying not to buy things, although things just keep walking in the door. I mean, look at that stack of vintage stereo. And that just walked in the door because I do have a few people who are suppliers for me. They bring me stuff and I pay them for it when it sells. I pay them more money than I would have paid at a garage sale, but they don't get paid until they get sold and I don't have to go look for the stuff. And that relationship only works with the kind of people who are calm and don't care and will just take whatever you give them and that's where those stereos came from. I think during this video I'm just gonna pop up some random sales here and there on the screen because I haven't done shown any sales and videos in weeks so there's plenty of stuff I've got a few here on the table but not too many because I just had what I hadn't packed yet and I don't let stuff sit around without packing it so it's really just stuff that sold since I went to bed last night so about Earlier this week, I decided I'm going to see how much I can list in five days. I'm going to give myself a $5,000 death pile challenge. Can I list $5,000 out of my death pile in five days? Then I thought, do I even have $5,000 worth of stuff there? And I posted that in the Facebook group, and one of my friends who's been over here said, oh, you'll have no problem, bro. And he was right. Let's take a look at that. Now I want you to look at this. When I started my challenge, I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough stuff left in my death pile to do it. And honestly, after listing $5,000 out of that pile, the pile doesn't look any different in size at all. If anything, it kind of looks worse somehow. Yep, after posting $5,000 worth of stuff in five days, my death pile looks exactly the same as it did before. Unchanged, you can't even tell anything's gone. I guess a lot of that comes from the kind of items I specialize in uh, tend to have a lot of compact value to them. You know, I'm not buying a lot of huge things that are worth five bucks, not for the most part. So I've, you know, there'll just be some box or tub sitting there and it might have $4,000 worth of stuff in it because so much money can be in a compact space with things like miniatures, gaming stuff, records even. You know, a tub of rec records might be $600 worth of listings right there, if not much more, depending on what the records are. So, so I quickly got to that 5,000 and it looks no different. And those of you who have a death pile problem like me, you should try the same thing. See if you can list $1,000 per day out of that death pile until it's gone. You might surprise yourself at how, how long it lasts or how many listings you get. Oh, my dog has come to visit. Parker, where are you at, baby? There she is. Oh, oh that's facing at me. There she is. Okay, enough dog stuff. I thought I was your favorite dog. Shut up, y'all. All right, let's look at a few things we sold here. Sold a Color Me Perfect Cat Puzzle, $4.58. This had, uh, that had gone through the markdown a couple of times. I'm not really buying a lot of puzzles anymore, but when I first started out, puzzles still had a lot of uh, COVID era comps on them, so they were showing us better than they are in the long term. Now I'm not really buying puzzles unless they're very vintage. This is in the box, but I'll throw a picture of it up there. It's a, it's a vintage grill doll in pink dress and green heels with Stan, uh, made in Vietnam, sold for 10 bucks, promoted listing. I'd had that for a while. I'll pick those dolls up for a couple dollars because I know they're always eventually good for 10 bucks, sometimes even 15. 
somebody waited until St. Patrick's Day to buy this Lucky Charms. This Lucky Charms hat, which sold for $9.89. I thought it would be better than that when I found it, but apparently this is a pretty common hat. There's a lot of variations on it. But I think I still only paid a dollar for it, so I did fine. Thin Lizzy, bad reputation on vinyl, sold for $14.35. Speaking of records, if you saw my last video, which you probably didn't because nobody nobody wanted to see it, I thought mm, maybe I'll just salvage a little bit of this footage because that I make while I'm selling records because I put a video up for every record I list now even the worst ones because it doesn't add much time to the process and thought maybe people would like to see exactly what I'm doing and saying on those so I chained a bunch of those together with an intro and an, e and an exit and I made that as a video and ooh, YouTube did not like that I got 14 copyright claims immediately they weren't copyright strikes but it said the video can't be monetized can't be shown in a couple of countries it got far less views than I normally get so I learned my lesson on that won't be doing that again YouTube although it didn't although several people who watched it did contact me wanting to buy specific uh, records that they saw in the video so maybe it worked better than I thought it did all right well sorry now that i've got two now that i'm actively doing two ebay accounts i can't have them both on i can't have the ebay app showing everything at once all right i sold zz top eliminator for nine bucks and it's a pretty common album but quick list quick sell i sold this Pink Grand Prix Radio does not work properly. Sold as a prop for $8.99. Wish this had been a Sony or a better brand because I'm sure some somebody would want that as a movie prop if it was. But even now being pink, a play prop or just something cool to sit in somebody's collection. Or possibly bought by someone who can't read, because that wouldn't be the first time I've sold a vintage pink broken radio that, to someone who doesn't read even the title of the item. John Cougar Mellencamp, Scarecrow. Five bucks. This one was in my last video. Talked about it, and I was like, people don't seem to respect John Cougar Mellencamp that much, and I always wondered if that was because maybe he was just a little bit too successful for what he did because it's not like he was it wasn't like he did anything new or very different he was just extremely successful at it and maybe just a little bit too radio friendly i'm not sure but usually i hear people make fun of john cougar more than they say they like him queen hot space 1699 x library another one out of that last video somebody saw and Probably just had to buy. Uh, sold a handcrafted wallet, leather wallet, $9.99. Three Dog Night, suitable for framing. Not sure if this copy really is, but sold for all of five bucks. This possibly has an autograph on it. This, I don't know if you can see that right there on the face. I didn't bother trying to figure out if that was an autograph or just some random defacement. Several other albums in the same collection did have face signatures that were real. I just didn't care to look into that one because the quality of it looked pretty poor. Let's see. Sold a Sonic Spork, $6.74 plus shipping. This was, got this from Fox Hunter, so he'll get a few bucks thrown onto his uh, spreadsheet, and he'll get paid out later when I see him. So this week I got two different payment disputes the exact same day. One was a lovely gentleman who had a $5.84 uh, card order eBay standard envelope. Now eBay standard envelope often shows delivered one day earlier than it actually gets there and 
in this case, this person's most reasonable thing to do is his order showed delivered, but it wasn't there. So what did he do? Did he send me a message? Did he wait for a day? Did he do anything through eBay? No, he immediately that same day went to, went to his bank website and filed a payment dispute on that item. And since it showed delivered, eBay sided with me. And the very same, was it the same day? Yes, the same day. Two payment disputes, not only the same week, but the same day. The second one was on the much older order. They filed a payment dispute for a Christmas ornament they bought with a specific name on it that they requested a specific name saying they did not recognize the transaction. And this order was from November 24th last year. That I think things like this is probably an accident. This is probably, I don't want to say an older person, but somebody who's both obsessive and forgetful at the same time, they probably combed through their old statements looking for every single thing that they saw there and then were disputing things that they didn't remember. And they didn't remember ordering this ornament, so they disputed it. And, it, you know, did, what, wouldn't say ornament on the bank statement anyway. It's going to just say eBay. I didn't buy anything from eBay because they don't remember buying it. But eBay also found that one in my favor, so I got two in my favor. And then at the same time, I actually got a great customer message. I had a lot of Wargaming figures listed incorrectly. I thought they were Lord of the Rings because the collection I bought had been almost entirely Lord of the Rings, but one of them was not Lord of the Rings. It was very early Dark Elves from uh, Warhammer Fantasy. And apparently those are much more valuable and much more desirable. So I was able to change that listing and start it back over at a high price and hopefully it will sell and i think that's all that i've got for today uh tell me how your de death pile challenges are going hope to see you again soon